What's up guys, JTM Off-Road here. Gonna be doing some Jeep maintenance today, like always. But first of all, you might notice that the camera looks a little different. Hopefully you notice that. I decided to get a new camera. I actually found this out in one of IM Jake's old videos. When he was first getting started, he went through, told about um, the camera setup that he used. And he said that he had a Canon PowerShot ELF 300 HS. He said he got it for like 60 bucks used. Currently I use a GoPro, uh, GoPro Hero 5 Black. And it's great, I love it. It lacks depth of field and the audio isn't the best. You probably noticed in my videos there's a lot of like crackling and stuff when I'm moving, moving around. I haven't really figured out how to take care of that just yet. I was watching his videos and noticed that his stuff sounds a little bit better than mine. Um, he has some depth of field, so like the background's blown out of focus sometimes. I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and give it a shot. So I found one for 75 bucks and this is it right now. So I did a test comparison between the two and there's actually a big difference between the two. The white mount seems to be better with this camera. The audio seems to be better and definitely the depth of field is there too. So this is gonna be my, you know, walk around camera, looking into it. And when I'm out four wheeling, that'll be my camera that I'll have sitting next to me. So if I need to jump out and video somebody or have someone video me or something like that, I'll have that ready on hand. I don't have to get out and take the GoPro off, move it over here, move it over there. Big inconvenience. Also, I ended up getting another GoPro too. So now I have this Canon PowerShot and two GoPro Hero 5 Blacks. Ideally, I'd like to have three GoPro Hero 5s, maybe eventually, but I also wanna get one of those smart remotes so you can actually be, I could be inside my Jeep and have all my cameras set up and all I gotta do is press a button, turns them all on, press a button, turns them all off. That'll be a huge convenience because then I can actually focus on four wheeling and I don't have to worry about making all the other guys mad that I'll go wheeling with because I get out of the Jeep so much. Um, like every couple minutes to set up camera angles. That's gonna be something to look forward to. I should be getting some better shots. I think it should just be looking a whole lot better, hopefully. So now that you know all about the new camera, cameras, all that, I have to replace the headlight switch on the Jeep. Just like one day I went to go press it. I was actually at Home Depot picking something up and I get in, I'm trying to press it and there's like a lot of tension behind it, it won't actually click in. Got home, just getting dark. So I figured out it was, it was just the headlight switch. I went and got another one. I pulled the connection out for the headlight switch and I just threw the new one in so I could drive around because I haven't really had time to take this off. I gotta, you know, take this off and switch, put the switch back in. So that's what we'll do now. Of course now it actually works, but before like you, you try to, Try to press really hard and it wouldn't go at all, but now it does. So I'm still gonna change this one out. So this is the new one. Works like a headlight switch. Turns the headlights on. So we'll go ahead and take the cluster off and get this swapped out really quick. Headlight switch is replaced. Took a whole five minutes, but it's in. So let's just make sure it works. I'd say it works. This is this is the old light switch. And the new one says lights off. Um, but the old one it used to say lights off, it's very faint. Um, but it works. Don't know exactly how to go about taking this off. I 
Uh, I guess there's really nothing to it. It was stuck in the off position. I could never turn it on. Don't exactly know. Wonder if something just got froze up and and wouldn't wouldn't move. I mean, all this stuff seems to move. A little bit of corrosion down there, if you can tell. But I don't know. Maybe I'll clean it up and keep it as a spare or something. Maybe I'll look into it more later on. But. For now, it's gonna stay like this, and I'll put it in my drawer. Alrighty guys, well that's it for today. That's a very short video. Um, I've actually got a bunch of things I'm gonna try to get done today, but I'm breaking them up into different videos. I'm hoping this new camera setup worked out. I hope you guys like it, and let me know what you think. Um, make sure to stay engaged. If you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, go ahead and dislike it. Let me know why you didn't like it, and make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Definitely leave me some feedback. Again, not the most exciting video, but it was something that I needed to get done, and I like making videos, so made a video about it. Alright, I think that's it. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to like it, tell me what you think in the comments, click subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming projects and wheeling trips. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook to catch posts of videos in the making. See you next time.